Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakadash. Shalom, the Bakarium, Shah Yasharala. <clears throat> and I want to touch on the time that we're living in, okay? And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're in a point of prophecy that, um, it's very exciting, but yet dangerous, you know, and um, to the hopeful elect, man, Shalom, Labakarim, Shah, Yasharala, it should be very exciting, you know, because as we see these prophecies unfold, we understand that our Lord is is close, you know, and um, through the spirit, you know, you can feel it. You know, your spirit can connect to that, that power, because that's the power we praise and worship through his son, okay? Through his father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And we know that for sure, 144%, that this man kingdom has to go down in order for our Lord to establish his kingdom, okay? So we need this kingdom to go. And we know that this man has a short time. <clears throat> and this is why this man is, um, in other words, he's going berserk. You know, he's losing his goddamn mind. You understand the nature of Cain and Esau? There was never no patience in that spirit, you know? The Lord made this devil, you know, Scripture talks about in the book of Habakkuk, uh, his soul is not upright in him, man. So even from the beginning, you know, this man was already designed his 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 biological makeup, his spirit, everything that consists of Esau, Cain, the spirit of the serpent, was to not have any patience, to be very hasty, you know, and this is why he's uh, he can't get enough. He has conquered the planet Earth with wickedness with his sword, he has killed, pillaged, destroyed, he just can't get enough, you know, he, he has no patience, he has a, he has a, 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 a sick, profane spirit, and that's why the earth is in turmoil, that's why the earth is, is destroyed, you know, the animal life, the plant life, the water life, even humans, even us, we grown together. You know, like Romans chapter eight, we the 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 the, the creature groaneth, man. We all grown together because we want this devil to go down because you know we understand that he's destroying the earth. And and if it wasn't for Yahweh Bashem Shai coming to save his elect and destroy this devil, man, hey man, he would consume all of us. He would destroy the earth completely, man, because that's the way he was designed to do. He was heading. So the only, so the only uh, power that can stop this devil is Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. This man has a short time, and he knows it. He knows he has a short time, and we're telling him in his face through these prophecies, every sincere brother in the highways and byways, when we do videos, lessons, we're cursing this devil out. Well, guess what? Esau knows. You better believe it. There's a balance in a planet. It's called laws of physics, spirits. Everything is about balance. So as wickedness is uh, exceedingly polluting the whole planet Earth, well, guess what? There's going to be a balance. There's going to be righteous men. There's going to be a righteous order where you're going to see a light. Scripture talks about uh, uh, the Lord searching Jerusalem with candles. Every every brother, you know, every sincere brother is a candle, man. We're a light and we're shining. This is why when you out there, those spirits, man, those demons, they know. You know, they possess people. You know, they, they turn people against us. They scoff, they mock because they see the light. They see the light of Yahweh Bashim Shai. They see the spirit of truth. So, you know, I don't want to keep talking, but this man has a short time, and this time is coming. 
This is uh, Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. And this man is the son of perdition, the son of destruction, the scripture says. He has destroyed the planet Earth. He has turned everything that the Lord has set up to keep the Earth, you know, <clears throat> in harmony. Hey, he does the opposite. Let's look this word up, defile, in the blue letter. <clears throat> Here we go. Strong's H2610. Hanaf. Hanaf. To be profane. Okay? And in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 17, said that Esau is sick, man. He's a profane out of the temple. He's not part of this congregation. He was never was. Through the, in the spirit, you know, in the heavens, he was never was. He's profane. He's out of the temple, man. Be defiled, polluted. See that? be corrupt, to be polluted, to be godless. And the scripture talks about this man being the ungodly, man. Hey, uh, the book of Samuel goes in talking about the ungodly waters, okay? The ungodly waters, the ungodly floods, you know? And these are those men, Esau, Edom, okay? So, we understand that this man has polluted greatly. He has polluted the planet Earth. The Earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And it's so easy. It's real simple. You know, I mean, you know, who owns the planet Earth? Who controls it? Who's in power right now? Esau, Edom. It's very simple, you know, very simple. Okay. So, um, hey, 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 man, this man got to go. He has to go because he is destroying the earth. And if it wasn't for this, the grace of Yahweh Shem Yahshua, we'll be consumed, brothers. Okay? <clears throat> this is Job 20, verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumph of the wicked is short? See, this man been in rulership. You know, and, and we always we always uh, talk about, you know, he's been given overtime, man. He's he's past his limits, you know. He's on, on bar borrowed time. And this is why the earth and everybody, society is just dysfunctional, man. The people are polluted. You could just just look at the people, man. They're just full of pollution. They got bad spirits, possessive, you know, the the, 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 the the sodomy behavior is out there. You know, everything, is, the food, the water, everything, man. The air, it's just every polluted because this man has, has just, just, he's, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a slumlord. That's another way to say it. He's a slumlord. And this is why he has to be put out. And our Lord gonna bring him, uh, 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 take this man out of his uh, his kingdom. He's gonna bring him. He's gonna bring him down. That the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. He's he's like, he's the ultimate greatest hypocrite on the planet Earth. One minute he says, "In God we trust," and then he goes and casts the laws behind him, like the scripture said in Psalms 50, man. Though his excellently mount up to the heavens, and he had reached unto the clouds, you know, NASA, you know, all the all the power that the Lord has given his man to to accomplish the the fleets, you know, his technology, his pride, he has built an empire, but on wickedness. Yet he shall perish forever. Lord didn't say, well, you know. I'm going to just um, get rid of them. You know, down the line, they'll come back and they'll procreate. And they probably will get it right next time. No, this spirit, Esau, Edom, it's profane. It's sick. It's not upright. 
So the Lord has to say, what? He will perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? You know, after a thousand years, Edomite is going to be a, a, a memory. There's not going to be one Edomite existing in the kingdom. He should not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night, brothers. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Matthew 24, verse 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on a Sabbath day. And we know Jacob's trouble is coming. We know evils are coming. And 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 we brothers that are that are in the know, we pray that the Lord may deliver us, man, and have mercy on us in these last days. Verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And Daniel chapter 12 goes into that. That, that, that the day of the Lord is, 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 is Jacob's trouble. It's going to be very horrific. And 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 guess who's going to get who's going to get the the, uh, the punishment? You Israelites, man. Verse twenty two. But this is the point. I'm a, and I'm gonna finish, brothers. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, man. Okay, so you see, you see the uh, the order here. You see the balance here, where the Lord says that the triumph of the wicked is short. Even though it seems like this man just been ruling forever, but guess what? In the spirit, in the eyes of Yahweh, Shem Yahshai. His time is short, and this is why he's shortening the days for the elect's sake. Everything is working according to the to the, the blueprint and design of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. The Lord has mercy on us, and 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 He love us through. Why? Because He has shortened the days. We'll be consumed if it was for this devil. We'll be consumed, but yet. When you read the book of Malachi, it says, you sons of Jacob should not be consumed. You see the balance? Do you see the balance? That's why the Lord is uh, 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 shortening the days for the elect's sake, man. And that's a promise. That's, that goes back to the covenant that he made with Abraham. The Lord is beautiful. He, he has to uphold his covenant, his honor. He, he's bound by his word. So as this man's time is approaching, his demise, his, his kingdom, our Lord is coming. He's going to take him out the way, man. And that's what we're excited for. That's what Yahweh Ratzah, man. Shalom, Lord, Bakarim, Shal, Yashua, the hopeful elect, man. So you brothers, man, don't lose patience. And, don't, and, and, and those brothers that ran out of oil, you, you took your hand off the plow, man, listen. If I was you, I'd pray. I'd pray, 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 pray. You should be on your knees, man. Because you you knew about the truth. You you have no excuse. You have no cloak for your sin, man. You know where, where you're heading, man. Death and destruction. You need to you try to plead with Yahweh Yahshua. Plead with him. And you brothers that's going on the right path right now, don't lose gas, man. We're here. We at the end. It's a little bit more, brothers. Stay strong. This man's kingdom is at his end. Okay? But for the elect's sake, the Lord said, that's mercy, man. He has shown the days. Yahweh Ratazah, Yahweh Ratazah, we're part of that number, man. Okay? So, um... Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Natan la ya ha kasayam sha da wa da, Pakwana ya ba ya shawataka, Kananya ka, Amaratka, Yahawa wa, Yahawa sha ka, Hala, Yahawa, Halawa ya, Halawa ya, Yahaba shim ya sha. 
Shalom, brothers.